What's poppin' rock stars? My name is MT, and buckle up, my nerd babies, because I've got something nice for you today. Now, hang on just a minute. Because I recently had the amazing privilege to be invited by Disney and Marvel Studios to chat with professional, handsome, and talented writer man Michael Waldron during his virtual press tour for the Disney Plus series Loki. Michael Waldron is, of course, the super chill head writer for Loki, as well as the upcoming Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So, naturally, my weird ass self decided to ask him about WandaVision, a show that ended three months ago. But, more specifically, how Loki could solve a big WandaVision mystery behind Marvel's unexpected. Expected boner. Boner. <laughs> but before I get into all that, I just want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. But yes, Loki, WandaVision, Boner Secrets, play the interview, John. And obviously people were quite surprised to find out that Evan Peters was Ralph Boner the entire time instead of Quicksilver from the Fox X-Men films in WandaVision. So now that Loki is set to introduce the concept of variants to the MCU, will we get some sort of explanation? Explanation for that phenomenon in WandaVision explained in Loki. You have to have to watch, you know, variants. <laughs> that's, that's the cool thing about variants. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but I don't, I don't think I can, you know. We'll we'll, we'll see. Uh, how tied in we were with that uh, at the end of all this. Hmm. An interesting reaction and response, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That is the cool thing about variants, isn't it? Now I am willing to bet a significant amount for my three digit savings account that Waldron's response to this question is a strong indicator that Rolf Boner from WandaVision will be revealed as a variant of Peter Maximoff, AKA Quicksilver from the Fox X-Men films by the end of the Loki series. Something that would confirm a strongly held theory of mine that I've been screaming to the clouds like a senile old man about called the Boner Effect, which basically states that the same faces exist throughout the Marvel multiverse, but sometimes with different personalities or roles. But while this isn't an official confirmation from Waldron about anything, you know, judging by his I don't want to get shot by Marvel snipers response, the suggestion that Loki is shaping up to be the boner effect the series is pretty strong with the very concept of variants in the Loki show being the boner effect in action. So basically what I'm saying here is, is that the Loki show will introduce the concept that Steve Rogers and Johnny Storm, Killmonger and Johnny Storm, Pietro and Craven, Blade and Cottonmouth, Moon Knight and Apocalypse, Thanos and Cable from Deadpool, these will all be revealed to be boner effect variants of each other tied together onto the single sacred multiversal timeline by the mysterious timekeepers. Some pretty wild shit, man. But hey, before I continue this video, I just want to once again thank our sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all in one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Want to start a website for your business? I mean, maybe your Venom fan art is about to be a hot ticket now that the sequel is about to come out and everyone is in the market for some slimy, toothy paintings. Because, you know, one cannot get enough teeth in one's life. Present all of your cool stuff with Squarespace's professional portfolio designs and display projects in customizable galleries. And you can auto post your content to Twitter, Facebook, or Tumblr. They have built-in mobile websites and a really slick mailing list feature to stay in touch with all of your customers. Squarespace will even sell you a URL, which is super convenient. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash new rockstar to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash new rockstar stars for 10% off your first purchase for website or domain. But anyways, moving on with the interview, I also asked this brilliant Rick and Morty writer of a man about the term Nexus that appeared during the TVA's animated presentation at the beginning of the series premiere in relation to the last time we heard the word Nexus said in WandaVision. Play the clip, John. I mean, every everything informs everything else. So mm. whether it's us you know, myself communicating with Jack Schaefer, who is the head writer of WandaVision, or mm. more often it's the creative producers who are there in the room with us, the, the Marvel executives interfacing with their colleagues to make sure that we're all, you know, telling a cohesive story alongside one another. But each team is working independently to make sure that their project mm. is the best thing it can possibly be. And then, you know, naturally they, they all tend to, to fit together. And of course, since the man Michael Waldron has been chosen by our Lord and Savior Kevin Feige himself to pen the Doctor Strange 2 script, you know I just had to ask him about some potential teases and crumbs for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness hidden within Loki as well. 
I think that's something you, you know, you'll have to you have to watch it all and find, <laughs> find out find 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 out if I was that smart or not. And I have a good feeling that my boy Mike Waldron is that smart. And judging by his response, I think it's safe to say that we should very much be on the lookout for Doctor Strange two teases within the Loki show. You know, like when my wife Miss Minutes said that the multiverse could fall into madness during the TVA video. Multiverse madness crumbs. Doctor Strange. It's coming. But I can think of few things more mad than jumping out of a plane you hijacked with a briefcase full of money after losing a bet to the Asgardian God of Thunder. Now, I don't know about you, I could be in the minority here, but I personally loved how they made an actual mysterious historical figure, Loki, all along. So I just had to ask Michael Waldron if he had any other history manipulating plans for where in time is Loki San Diego? And here's what he said. We talked about a million things in the writers in the writers' room. I think we had a whiteboard just filled with different <laughs> historical events, eras, places we wanted to go. We want to do something that that isn't obvious, but yet isn't such a deep cut that nobody can even identify it as a right. as a historical event. So I, I think fortunately with DB Cooper, we we hit a, a nice little bullseye of just something that's fun to to see on screen. And of course, because Marvel loves to make their end credits so incredibly detailed, your favorite brown nerd just had to ask about it. Well, more specifically, if there are any Easter eggs within that end credit sequence that we should all be keeping an eye out for. That credit sequence is rad. I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> hey, look, I, I would say every frame of this show is worth pausing mm. and looking at, whether to look for Easter eggs or to just to luxuriate in the production design that the cast or production designer did. It, it's, it's all beautiful. How important is it? I don't know. Time will tell. And finally, since I'm sitting down with the freaking head writer of Loki, I thought I'd do the speculating nerd world a favor by playing a little speculation game with Michael Waldron. And well, just take a look. I'm going to say a word or a phrase, and you just send me a signal if you think it's okay for all of us to speculate in that direction. One, a big cameo. Should we speculate in that direction? Speculate. Okay. Tie-ins to Multiverse of Madness. Speculate. Speculate in a way. Okay. Kang the Conqueror. Sure, speculate away. Uh, speculate in a way. All right. The mutants. Speculate. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Mephisto. Mm. Oh, definitely. <laughs> oh, we going to be speculating all day. <laughs> definitely speculate. Big time speculate. <laughs> Mephisto. And um, how about the builders? Ooh, speculate. Oh, we spec. Okay, 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 cool. So I didn't really get a lot out of a Waldron there, but he did tell us to speculate about all those things. So that's what we gonna do because that's what we do here at New Rockstars. You know, we speculation nation. But anyways, huge, huge thank you to Michael Waldron for taking the time to sit down with me. This was my first interview ever in the history of Beyonce's sacred timeline, but Michael Waldron is such a chill and easy to talk to dude for answering the questions that I had for him that I didn't even need all those adult diapers that I purchased in preparation for the interview. Huh? What? I didn't say anything about Depends for Men. That was you. And of course, an even bigger thank you to Disney and Marvel Studios for inviting new rockstars in for such a cool interview. You guys are freaking rad, and Kevin Feige is my dad, so I'll let you guys know that. My black son! My black son! But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and be sure to follow me at Mastertainment if you want to, you know, hear me ramble about various Marvel theories 24-7, because that's literally all I do on my Twitter, because I have a tweeting problem. But most importantly, you can follow new rockstars anywhere we are on the internet, especially on YouTube where you can hit that notification bell so you can get notifications anytime we upload a new video. Come on, man. Pretty dope. And make sure to hit up newrockstarsmerch.com so you can see all of our cool stuff, including our new Loki designs and stuff, because we got a lot of cool shit there, including some Miss Menace merch, but you know, <laughs> don't tell anybody, especially, you know, my wife's suitors. Take it easy, everybody.